So here I am at the Radisson Blue in Salorgan, which is near Booterstown, which is near Willow Park and Blackrock College. And I'm staying in this fancy hotel. You can't really see it there, it's, the, the contrast there is a bit harsh. But uh, look at this lovely building. Posh. Posh as fuck. Uh, an old English country mansion, I imagine. Lords and ladies and the powerful. And it has these beautiful gardens. Oh. Look at that. Just absolutely sweet. And the autumn colour is coming in a month or so. Too late. There you can see now, you can see a bit more. That's the modern wing of it. On, in another wing somewhere else, in one of their basic rooms. And I've been here for the memorial for Mark Ryan. And um, supporting his family and his friends and other survivors. And I read a piece at the end of the uh, memorial yesterday. We will remember. We will remember you, Mark. And we will pick up where you were so unfortunately, so unexpectedly had to drop off. And I spent uh, yesterday evening talking to some other survivors. Wonderful, wonderful human beings. Lovely, gentle men. Gentle men. And we were gentle children. And we had needs and they were unmet. Our needs were unmet, and as adults who survived the depravity and the brutality and the horror of those boarding schools, you know, we survived. But why do we survivors have to, you know, demand justice? Why isn't justice served. What is it about Ireland? I've had four or five inquiries already and here's another one. What is it? Why should we have to fight for justice? Tell me that. Why should we have to fight for justice? Why isn't justice prevailing? Why has the spirit and started a restorative justice program with no meat to it, no merit to it, nothing? I haven't had my apology yet. I don't want a fucking apology. I want justice. There's thousands of survivors from all the boarding schools and day schools, the entire educational system. And we're old men now. We've lived hard lives. We've tried our best to live as well as we can. Some with more success than others. None of it are fault or anything, it's mostly luck. <clears throat> How lucky you have to be. I'm not living in Gaza, that's how lucky I am. <clears throat> I'm an egalitarian. That's my Stance. That's my position.
and us survivors, we need support for the rest of our lives. We need an honest accounting of what was done to us and how that impacted our lives and our family lives and our children and the culture around us. And that's a job for everybody in Ireland. That's a job for the government and that's a job for the church if it was really Christian. The unspeakable things that we had to live through. Things we did nothing to deserve. Blue skies. It's a crisp morning. I didn't sleep well last night. I did some writing. And so yeah, Ireland. You need to step up to the plate and support us. We shouldn't have to fight for justice. That's a, an insult. We shouldn't have to fight with the institutions within which we were abused so horrifically. We shouldn't have to deal with the depravity of an institution protecting its wealth over our welfare. You know, there's been five inquiries already here in Ireland. Here's another one, boarding schools and day schools. <clears throat> what kind of a culture doesn't take care of the most vulnerable in it? What kind of culture doesn't take care of the most vulnerable in the way they need to be taken care of? Nurtured, protected, loved, recognized as persons. Tell me that. Beautiful grounds, isn't it? It's lovely. When I was a child in those schools, I, I was in five boarding schools from the age of like five and a half to 17, <clears throat> 12 years. <clears throat> and the concrete world of the adults was not a world I was safe in. So I used to go out to the fields and the trees and the birds on my own. And this is where I would find a momentary peace just in the beauty of the little things <sighs> so yeah tell me why we should have to fight for justice tell me why justice isn't just delivered made completely clear we are deserving of that. And what is justice in this case? Well, justice is an uh, accurate history of what went on, why it went on, how it went on, how it impacted so many lives. Justice is reparations and lifelong support for us because with what we've been through, you never know when it's going to blow up in your face. You never know when it's going to explode in your dreams at night. And the last part of the justice is a re-wigging of the social care system and all care systems <coughs> so that they're there to nurture and that the people within them are well trained and well paid and they understand how to relate to the most vulnerable among us in the most healthful possible manner. Because the psychology of any given 
society or family or community is revealed and perpetuated in how they relate to and treat the most vulnerable among them. Change that and you can change everything. That's justice for me, from my little angle of it. You know, I'm an expert in my own case. I'm not an expert in all cases. So yeah, that's my statement this morning. That's what I want to say. And Mark Ryan was a good, good man. And David Ryan is a good, good man. And Jonathan Ryan is a good, good man. And we shouldn't have to be burdened with a fight for justice, a struggle. That's an insult. That's an insult to our humanity. But if we have to fight, well, fuck it, we will. The psychology of any given culture is both revealed and perpetuated in how they relate to and treat the most vulnerable among them. Change that and you can change everything. Are you up for that change? Are you up for that change? Let me hear, let us hear. Stand with us, make that change.